Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back to the second candle review of the day. If you missed it a little bit earlier, I shared my thoughts on Homeworks Santorini. I will go ahead and link that review in the description box right below this video. Uh, I will also provide a link to where you can find Kringle Reserve Orange if you are interested in purchasing this one. Um, I do have a discount code for Kringle Candle. I am an affiliate or an ambassador with Kringle. Um, I actually purchased this particular candle here myself, but um, I did purchase it with my own discount code. <laughs> the reserve candles hardly ever go on sale, and so um, if you want to save 15% off of any of the reserve fragrances, you can use my code MELANIE15 and that'll save you 15% off at checkout. It works with a lot of different sales at Kringle as well, um, but uh, there are some sales where you can't add the additional discount code, but it will definitely apply to the full priced reserve fragrances. Okay, I was so excited about this last reserve drop at Kringle. And I was really kind of grateful that they opted to change the release time to noon <laughs> so that I was already awake and going about my day when the candles went on sale. So um, I did pick up the orange as well as the, um, the, what is it, the psychedelic citrus. I did go ahead and skip the pear because I'm not huge on pear for spring and summer. I figured that the pear might be something that I pick up during the fall if it's still available. And all three of the new fragrances are still available at, you know, Kringle. So if you're interested and you would like to pick up any of the new ones that were just released, they didn't sell out initially. So um, I have to say it's kind of actually hard for me to pick between the psychedelic citrus and the orange in terms of which one I'm enjoying more. Both of them are fantastic. I am definitely uh, becoming a much bigger fan of citrus these days. I used to never really get into citrus fragrances, but you know, sometimes as you get older and your preferences kind of change a little bit, um, it is nice to be able to enjoy and experience things that in the past maybe made me go, hey, but now I, I love orange. <laughs> I love lemon. I really enjoy grapefruit. Um, I'm still not a big lime person. Lime is a tough one for me. But as far as like, you know, the other like basic citrus scents, I'm here for it. And this particular orange, oh man. Um, if you are not familiar with the Sicilian orange from Kringle Candle, which is just in their regular two-week tumbler jars, you got to check that one out too. If you want a citrus combined with a really interesting, beautiful herbal note, you have to check out Sicilian Tangerine. I just honestly, I cannot say enough good things about it. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a little uh, fragrance journey, if you will, through Reserve Orange. Um, so we'll do the fragrance notes, we'll talk strength and throw, we'll talk overall burn quality, and we will wrap it up. Okay, Orange. Experience the vibrant essence of sunny groves with our orange candle, where zesty citrus top notes meet a heart of luscious red fruits and a base of tantalizing tamarind, musk, and amber capturing the essence of a sun-kissed orchard. All right, our top notes are green, lemon, orange, and mandarin. The mid notes are lemongrass, red fruits, and jasmine. The, ba the base is tamarind, amber, and musk. All right, so what do I smell? Um, in terms of these top notes, I this is predominantly an orange, or I guess you could definitely say mandarin. To me, orange and mandarin, and I guess you could also maybe include satsuma, or is that satsuma a, man, a type of mandarin? Gosh, I can't remember. Anyway, um, I'm thinking about like the Bath and Body Works satsuma. Oh God, that was so good. Um, rest in peace, Bath and Body Works. No, not Bath and Body Works, the body shop. That's where that satsuma came from. But um, 
Anyway, if you're not familiar, The Body Shop is really not doing well right now. It kind of bums me out because I really love that Satsuma body wash. But anyway, so orange and mandarin are really the predominant citrus notes to my nose. I don't get much in the way of green or lemon from this at all. Um, it is a very straightforward, I would say, almost like you just cut into an orange type of fragrance. Um, I'm actually kind of laughing a little bit at some of these notes because honestly, I don't pick up lemongrass and there's there are no fr red fruits here. Like maybe someone, and definitely let us know down below if you are picking up red fruits in this, but I don't smell any other type of fruit. I smell the citrus in the form of the orange and or mandarin, but no lemongrass, no lemon, no green um jasmine i do think that i can see just a like a small slight addition of like a floral note jasmine is a pretty soft white clean floral note and i think it makes sense in here i think i would have actually liked to see maybe just like a touch of like an orange blossom or an aroli if you will but I do think that the jasmine was an interesting choice for this one, and I, I can actually smell that. It is still predominantly a citrus scent, though. I don't want to imply that this is like a citrus floral scent. It is very much more so a citrus with just, just a hint of floral in the background. In terms of the tamarind, the musk, and the amber, I will say that I do detect just a little touch of amber, which I think brings some warmth to the orange. Um, and I think the musk here just plays more of like a background type of note. With certain Kringle fragrances, you definitely smell like some muskiness in the overall formulation, but this isn't like, there's no muskiness that is obvious here. Sometimes musk can just play a supporting role for some of the other notes. Um, but the tamarind, I don't pick up. Um, really, what this smells like to me is just a very nicely done, straightforward orange with just a little kind of slight, ever so slight floral twist to it. Um, if you were hoping for these red fruits, uh, like I said, I don't pick them up. Um, to me, this is a predominantly citrus fragrance and that's it. And honestly, that makes me really happy. Um, I was hoping that this, what I was hoping for was this just smelled like straight up orange juice. And it does in, you know, in the way that it very much smells like a freshly sliced orange for the majority of the fragrance, but there is just a little something extra in there for sure. I don't hate the little extra floral note. I think it makes it a little bit more interesting. Um, the, I feel like the only way that I could compare this to their Sicilian orange is to say that this more so smells like just the orange part of the Sicilian orange. It's almost like they took the herbal note out and it's just more of like that pure orange, a little bit more straightforward with not a whole lot extra to it. So if you liked the Sicilian orange and you always kind of wished that you could have that without the herbal note component, this might be a really great option for you. If you are a huge fan of just citrus scents in general, I think you're really going to enjoy this one. Um, in terms of the fragrance, two thumbs up. All right, let's talk strength and throw. First of all, I am only about a quarter of the way through this candle, and I will show you guys just a quick side profile here so that you can see that. Obviously, this black uh, glass is a little opaque, but you can see that I am just about here. Um, usually, I like to burn my candles, most candles, a little bit longer prior to reviewing them, but I am just very familiar with the Kringle soy formulation and I just don't deal with any problems um, like burn wise uh, they never the wicks never dud out on me um, the there's never any discoloration of the wax from like carbon residue falling back into the wax they don't get sooty um, these are just really clean burning candles and 
that is what makes me happy to i guess spend the extra money on the kringle candles when i purchase them because they do have a much cleaner burn than a lot of other different brands i know some people don't like soy wax because they say that they can smell the soy within the wax i can't i just find this to be an incredibly clean burning formulation so that's why i like it so much um and i'm very excited for kringle to come out with their four wick candles um because i will say in terms of strength and throw here if we're going back to that i would only put the strength of this at about a seven um and i would put the throw right around a seven as well it is a fragrance that i can smell throughout the bulk of the downstairs of the house when i have it lit i've been burning this towards the back of the house towards like the kitchen family room area and then I've had the psychedelic citrus in the formal living room up front. That has filled my house with like the most delicious citrus combination. Um, so I really like what's happening between the two. But if I just had one or the other lit, I, it wouldn't fill like the entire downstairs. We have a pretty open concept style down here uh, in our house in, in the lower part. Um, also, the ceilings are quite high, especially here in this entryway. But I'm pleased with the performance of this Kringle candle. I can amp it up a little bit if I put it either in a candle sleeve or in a hurricane, but I think it does fine on its own. Um, so I'm definitely giving this one two thumbs up all around. The fragrance, the performance, the strength and throw, while, you know, I'd love a 10 out of 10 in something like this. I can also appreciate where this is at with just being a two wick formulation. Um, but this is one where like, there's a few scents that I have in mind that I would love to see Kringle do in a four wick format, just because um, I think that the strength and throw would be even better. Uh, but that being said, I'm gonna continue to repurchase this one. And um, next week, I actually wanna burn it alongside the Sicilian Orange. Um, I haven't even gotten one of those out yet for this spring. Um, I really like that one as a summer fragrance, but it's also a really nice spring option. And our weather is supposed to be warming up here in Oregon soon. So um, once we have those warmer spring days, I think this combined with the Sicilian Orange would be just the yummiest, freshest, most like potent citrus combo. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm a big fan of this one. I think Kringle did a great job here. But if you are looking for like, uh, like a nine or a 10 in terms of strength and throw, I'm gonna tell you that you're probably not gonna get it from this one. But if you're looking for a good solid medium strength and throw, you're gonna do just fine with this one. Um, let me know your thoughts on Kringle Reserve Orange in the comments down below. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch. Let me know if you have any questions and definitely let me know your thoughts if you pick this one up in the comments down below. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.